Hello and welcome back to the Mighty Miniatures campaign. Do you remember the last episode I was saying about MechWarrior EXP? I saw this screenshot on Reddit of uh, people requiring like 20,000 EXP to level up. And I've got MechWarrior progression on very slow. And yet I was still seeing the same amount of EXP to level up as I would expect to see in the... Um, in the normal game, in the normal difficulty. Well, uh, apparently, um, they changed it, basically. In the version 1.1 beta, that's where that screenshot is from, where MechWarrior just gained normal EXP in battles, but needed way more to level up. And in the latest version of the game, the amount that they need to level up is the same as it always was, but the amount that they gain after each mission is um, much less. And I guess they changed it because one, um, the, the, the beta way of doing it was very extreme, which basically meant that you couldn't level up because of the way EXP exponentially increased. And the other thing was that um, virtual reality pods were broken because everything required so much more EXP, so your 30,000 EXP didn't really go very far. Whereas now, your VR pods work exactly the same way as they always did. So apparently that's the answer to that. Now the question is, do I do this contract? And if I do this contract, it's going to involve switching planets. Oh, I might as well do this, right? Because this is, um, this is the thing. This isn't a mission, this is just a bit of plot and you get some money. Dun 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 dun. Right. I'm obviously not going to race off to do that because I'll get my ass kicked. Well, I might get my ass kicked. Let's do this mission, shall we? Jesus, they really are stingy, aren't they? I'm almost tempted to get some reputation. You know what I mean? Because when they start to like you, they start giving you nice contracts. Oh, oh, let's stop. Hang on. Pause. 17 days to get there. Let's put that 17 days to good use, shall we? Now, of course, under the rules, if I refit this mech, then the PPC is coming out and I can never put it back. So the question is, do I want to do that? And the answer is... Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. What's that, 50 damage? Oh man, I, have, I haven't got any... Uh, any spare medium lasers. <laughs> I've used them all. That's fine, we can buy one. We can buy one. Items cannot be purchased or sold while in transit. Okay, fine. Some other time. Um... Let's get some more heat sinks in here, shall we? And we can even afford to improve the armor. There we go. 
for now. So one PPC comes out and some medium lasers go in. I'll probably strip a heatsink later to um, put another laser in. 57 heatsink, alpha strike 60, that is way too heat neutral, we can definitely afford to get another medium laser in here. Nice that they finally put the numbers into the base game, that's a huge improvement. Jesus, that uses up all my mech bay time. <laughs> Just that one change. Uses up all my mech bay time. Open up the limits. Yeah, fine. Jump in the name of love. I just, I don't know why I'm singing. Forgive me. I was really confused about that Mech Warrior EXP thing. I was like, oh, please don't tell me that I have bugs in my game and that this is not going to somehow count. Nope, everything is working as expected. Okay, that's all fine. Thank you. Let's make some money. Right, before we proceed with any contracts. That can go. These can go. That can go. See if I can capture myself a medium laser. Rather than purchasing them. Let's rumble. Let's pay close attention to how much EXP we get after the mission as well just to see what effect that low EXP thing has. I think you get something like 100 EXP for a vehicle or a light mech and 200 for a medium and 300 for a heavy and like 400 for an assault. So early on the kind of EXP that you see is like 400 or 800 or something like that so we'll see. See how much difference it makes. Maybe HBS decided that the feature was too punishing and toned it toned it back from the 1.1 uh, beta version. Command interface initiated. Do you think there'll be bears? Do you think that there will be bears? We got the bare necessities. Okay, the base is there. The reinforcements are there. And it looks like I get the high ground, which is awesome. As we all know, you can't win if I have the high ground. Coordinates received. What's this? Tanks? I've got something. Lots of tanks! No mix. I'll wait here for now. Good to go. Uh, jump. No shot. Ready for orders. Interesting. Whoa, <laughs> this weird teleporting is like unnerving. Engaging target. Kadunk. 
Jesus, that actually hurt. And it pretty much all hit CT. It seems like the enemy gets some sort of bonus to focus fire, because they are always precisely hitting exactly the same spot. Whoa. Sniper turret. What can I do for you? You betcha. Ah, uh, this is not good. Might kill him though. His side is actually really badly damaged. Yes. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. Well, don't feel bad. Standing by. Cuz they have a lot of firepower. Oh. What's up, boss? Engaging jump. Jump. Acknowledged. Fire at will. Poor will. Waiting for orders. Go, my spider. Oh, is it a fatal hit? No, it's not. Ow. Jesus, my Shadowhawk is getting pounded. Is that a leg hit? Leg hit, okay. Get rid of this bloody Manticore. Which somehow survived. Waiting for orders. This displeases me. Waiting for orders. Don't need to tell me twice. Uh okay, twenty damage is probably not gonna kill him. Oh it'll kill him if it hits the front though. Sweet. Knocked out a vehicle. Commander. On my way. I say you rescue the spider. Flat. One for the scrap heap. Oh. Jesus. The Jaeger turret is angry. Yes, Commander. Holding for tactical advantage. Uh, I probably should have put someone else in this robot, but whatever. In this mech. Get in a robot, Shinji. Okay, sweet. What's up, boss? Moving to position. Now we spot the enemy turrets and take them out. Including that evil sniper turret that's been shooting at me non stop. Um, I can totally kill him if I just vigilance to make sure I don't get pummeled. Ironically, the spider has now got quite a quite a fair amount of armor, despite its light structure. Location confirmed. Uh, laser turret. Oh, they're both laser turrets. Got it. Good clean hits. I hear ya. 
I leap. I soar. Oh god, you can't jump, mate. Oh wait, yes you can. Ah, only the LRM can reach. Still, it's a solid kill. Gotcha. I didn't realise that the AC-5 had such good range. I thought it was a bit shorter than that, but I'll take it. You missed. Ready for orders. And now you're going to get spidered. See, two jump jets. And that's really quite nice range for two jump jets. So why you need eight, I have no idea. I'm not even truly sure what eight jump jets does, to be honest. Carve this thing into Turkey. Pop. One less turret. Waiting on you, Commander. Um. Guess we just keep running at the base. Time to die. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough actual missiles to do anything meaningful. So. I think that's going to be a common occurrence in this campaign. Target confirmed. Brought it down, Commander. Good shot, Commander. Enemy I wonder if there's going to be enemy reinforcements on this mission or whether it's just going to be those vehicles. That's another thing to consider. Boink. Jumping is so weird. Ha ha ha! AC2 at short range is, uh, is so bad. So bad. Standing by. I'm not sure if I made the AC2 campaign look easy, but it is not easy. I copy. Pop. Turret destroyed. Ah, uh, no good clean shots. Guess nothing reaches. Oh wait, it's auto sprinting, isn't it? So. Firing on target. So of course the buildings have got tons and tons of HP, so you know we're gonna be here carving our way through them. Good to go. Locked on. Kill it. Hey, you know this is actually not that bad. This is not that painful. Building destruction in the base game was a nightmare because it just took like 10 minutes. Good to go. This is going much quicker and it pleases me. Got it. Taking the shot. I hear ya. Right. This should be the final shot. And if there are no. Oh no, it won't be there's no enemy reinforcements we are done Orders. Oh, auto sprint got me again sweet Easy. So let's have a look at that Mech Warrior EXP and just see what difference it makes. So we killed four vehicles. 
so I guess this should have been like 400 EXP, roughly, something like that. 300. What should it have been? 600 maybe? 100 for each vehicle and 50 for each turret, something like that, so it's halved. I don't know, let me know in the comments what it should have been. It's definitely lower though, I mean 300 is the lowest I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure that even a very, very basic um, mission resulted in more than that. I'm going to take the medium laser because nothing else is actually a valid pick. The rest is junk to be sold. The medium laser. Laser scalpel. The medium laser actually got nerfed. Generates two more heat now. Still a pretty decent weapon, but... The funny part about this campaign is it's going to get harder as it goes along. Because bigger mechs have got more free tonnage, but actually tend to not have many more hard points. Or even sometimes have less hard points. Like, for example, the mech with the most hard points in the game is the Firestar, which is a light mech. Uh, I do not need all these jump jets. Although I think I might keep them and just lose a heat sink. There we go. This LRM5, it weighs two tons and it doesn't really suit this mech. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Missed the mute key. It's too slow. I could save myself a ton by stripping out the LRM5 and putting in an SRM2 for more heat sinking. Although with a heat sink of 54 and an alpha strike of 72, it's going to take quite a few turns of firing everything to actually start overheating. So that's uh, it's not the biggest deal. We'll leave it as it is. Because even one change is like four days worth of lab time. It's pretty harsh. Okay, we have some extra missions here. Patrol. It's a battle, straight up. Logistical base capture. Capture base or a battle. Okay, let's shed the four days to get the mech back. Just gotta be so careful with our time. Battle, okay. Um, I guess we'll just do that. We're making money, but we we haven't gotten any mech parts or anything. We're not progressing. Although making money is alright. You can buy a medium mech for something like 5 million C bills, so... Might find ourselves purchasing mechs to make progress rather than actually getting them in bits. I guess it's what people wanted. They wanted, like, long war. They wanted to be in this this glorious ride with me for a month or something, well, it's very much looking like it's going to be that. Although the improved speed of all the movement and animation is going to make it much quicker to generate episodes. Okay, that's a mech. Sweet. About time. Let's go, boys. Roger, 
after that. Um, I like this position. What's up, boss? Let's see if we can lure the enemy into it. Moving to position. What do we got here? Two vehicles and two mechs. Way up there on the hill. Oh, it's a spider. How dare you. Come on, come get me. It's another spider, isn't it? Ugh. 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 I'd rather join the Axis cult. And it's those it's the awful variant of the spider, you know, the one that's got uh eight jump jets and no armor. <laughs> you could almost feel sorry for these guys. Coordinates received. Laser him. You can crash the gates. What can you hit from there? AC2 can definitely reach out and touch somebody from that distance. Ooh, you are just in medium laser range, and so are you. Get some! Oh! 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 Jesus! <laughs> Flush down the plug hole. Good to go. Oh, accidentally clicking on things I shouldn't be clicking on. I leap, I soar. Missiles away! Doesn't it feel sad just firing five missiles at somebody? Just feels like the weakest thing. Along came a spider that sat down beside her and wiggled and jiggled and focused CT. Okay, that doesn't really rhyme, but whatever. <laughs> you missed! Whatever you are, Scorpion. Let's go with... oh, you haven't got multi-shot. That spider is basically dead. Let's be honest here. So, I'm going to go for the striker. Because their missiles are dangerous. Losing armor. Poor spider. Too many jump jets in the stock variant. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. How can you headshot a vehicle? <laughs> Suppose you get the turret. Inspiration. I love my jump jets. Just love that tactical tactical flexibility. Can you actually hit that? Oh, you totally can. Let's see if you can try and get it. Sweet! I'm gonna be sad when this Shadow Hawk loses its auto cannon 5. To be fair, it's, it's not it's not the greatest weapon. Considering that the mech is stock and could be better designed. Considerably better designed. 
Moving to position. Roger. Sweet. Vehicle trashed. I win. It's definitely harder. The AI is definitely hitting more often and it is focus firing better. But they're still using god awful stock mechs at the moment, so. Man, I never used to be able to c complete contracts this quickly. This is kind of great. It's not quite advanced wars like click, 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 go, 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 but it's still quite cool. Yay, spider piece! Just what I never wanted. Come on, give me some more of that junk. <laughs> oh, eight pieces to complete one mech. I think this is going to be the most painful rule of all. Truly. Truly the most painful of rules. I'm going to have to think of things to say for the, like... 100 episodes it's going to take to get anywhere. <laughs> 94 sea bills. It's not even worth thinking about. Let's just go full salvage and see if we get something. Man, oh man. <laughs> I have to come up with some stories. I'm going to tell some stories while I'm playing. Be uh, Edmund's mighty miniature campaign and story time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to find, find something to do while I'm cleaning up easy missions to make some money. I don't know if I'm feeling as much pressure as I did in uh, the beginning of Rogue Tech, but maybe I should. But it was it was a huge learning experience because Rogue Tech was so very different from the base game. Okay, here we go. I should have stripped uh, mechs of their garbage long-range weapons straight away and engaged with the glorious melee meta from the start and I probably would have done a lot better Commander. Affirmative. Affirmative. Got it. okay so there's the base turrets I don't seem to be detecting any right now Which is interesting. Because you would think that I would. Out. Out. <laughs> okay, so the base itself is empty. Where is the patrol? You can crash the gates. Well, where are they? Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Do they not appear until I sneak into the base? I'm picking up a new sensor Aha! I guess they don't appear until I tag the thing. Okay, entering combat. Receiving you. Here they come, boys. Isn't this the weirdest bit of terrain? Geothermal 
area right next to frozen ice as opposed to unfrozen ice <laughs> but you know what I mean Waiting for orders. it's a bit odd okay what am I looking at what I am looking at is target practice that is what I am looking at Get in the robot, Shinji! Oh, there's another mech over there. It's not actually on the map. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. Engaging with target. Kill it! Sweet. Unfortunately, all the spiders' weapons are in the CT, so, uh. We won't be getting any easy, uh. demilitarizations of these mechs. Good to go. Punch the locust. Punch the locust! Except we missed. We still ripped his arm off though, so that's fine. Target's taken a critical hit. What is that enemy doing? Is he broken? God damn it, my structure is damaged. How dare you! I have a very poor chance to hit, but this is what precision strike is for. Locust is so dead. It's not a good idea to be a light mech with no evasion. Waiting for orders. Uh, yeah, just get in position. Going turbo. Going turbo. <laughs> what? This is like we do Wreck It Ralph references here. Turbo tastic. It's a panther. Tell me what to shoot. It's a panther with a whole lot less armor. Is that a direct? No. That is a direct shot. Fire at will. Jesus, we are like really spreading the damage around here. Boing. Love my jump jets. Receiving you. Eh. get the spider involved. Got it. I'm sure we'll get it next turn. He's, is he bugged? I saw this same bug in Rogue Tech, so I guess it's not Rogue Tech's fault. Guy is just like stuck outside the map and lost the plot. Oh 
man. That was amazing. Got the same combination on my luggage. One, two, three, four mech bits blown off. <laughs> wow. Actually, suppose technically five. One, two, three, four, five bits of mech blown off. Wrecked. Gotcha. Are we done here? I think we're done here. Mission Darius, can't wait to kill you. The executive officer of getting us in the shit. <laughs> Uh, good thing I armored up the spider, otherwise its arm would have been ripped off. Sweet. Panther bit. Spider bit. And a whole lot of junk. God damn it! Locust bit would have been nice. At least it's like money that we would have slowly gotten. Oh well. It's not like Rogue Tech and I can just sell the bits either. But then again, there's not a million variants of everything, so... A little bit of A, a little bit of B. Sweet. How much is this going to cost? Okay. Not bad. Job's done, Commander. We got the sea bills. They are the bitter sea bills to swallow. I am totally not doing that mission until I have better kit. And it looks like better kit might be available here. Because it's an assassinate, and assassinate usually always means a higher level enemy. Uh, I need that priority pick. <laughs> wow, just negotiating for one priority pick. Oh, this is horrible. Right, we have mech bay time, let's use it. Um, I think the blackjack is fine as it is. Honestly speaking. Oh! <laughs> That'll make you twitch. Yeah, pretty much every hard point is full. This is fine as it is. <laughs> I bet I'm making a few people do the twitchy eye right now. Like, why has he put the ammo in the head? I might explain in a video one day when I do a guide to putting ammunition on a mech. Um. Okay. If I change this, then the AC-5 must go, because it's an illegal item. Honestly, it's not a great item. At 8 tons. It's pretty heavy. I will... Remove. Bloody CT ammo. Uh, okay, I don't actually have any spare LRM uh, fives. I was going to fit a load of LRM fives, but that's not going to happen. Uh, 
I was going to go for a full, like either three sets of LRM five. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now nah, this build doesn't make any sense though, does it? With LRM fives, it might have made sense, and an AC two, then it could be long range. Well, this is a, fami a familiar feeling. <laughs> Right? Because we haven't got the weight allowance for the LRM. It takes up 50 long range capability. Um. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this mech. None of these weapons really generate any heat. So heat sinks can go. And that's where it kind of works. That's a nice combination, I think. Let's go with this. Goodbye, AC5. You are a far better weapon than the AC2. But you are an illegal item, and therefore, if I change the mech, you have to come out. It's as simple as that. I will probably switch these out for LRMs later, but I actually haven't got any, so... Sucks. Jesus, 17 days to make the changes. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Right, away we go. Well, we made good money so far, right? And then I think uh, we're approaching an hour now, so we'll get to where we want to be. Just double check that we're happy with everything, and then we will carry on next time. I think I will switch the Shadowhawk to uh, LRMs at some point and make a proper long range boat out of it. I've got the financial report. Cool. That work order you submitted is complete. Okay. No, not yet. That's what we're going to do next time. But before we do that, let's just clean up our stuff. Goodbye, AC5. Machine gun is also an illegal item, as is the SRM4s. And all of this AC5 ammo is not going to help me. Anything to buy? Ooh. An improved accuracy AC2. 
Was it worth throwing the money down? I think it might be. I'll take it. I'll shuffle it in when I get the chance. No rare items, by the way, means you never find any rare items, but does not mean that you can't buy any rare items. Waiting for orders. In case you were wondering. God damn the EXP growth is slow. Mech warrior training complete. Waiting for orders. Training confirmed. You, you, my usual alpha um uh, alpha strategy? My usual vanilla strategy of rushing to bulwark. Commander? Yes, Commander. Commander? Bulwark is good for you. Okay, and that's it for now. Join me next time. We will launch the contract. We will do the assassination. Undoubtedly, the assassination target will at least be a medium. I'm presuming. And uh, we're going to slowly grind out these missions. I hope you're enjoying this. Drop me any comments, and I'll see you next time.